Hello everybody, welcome to the eighth video in the image recognition and manipulation video series. In the last video I was showing you guys the thresholding operation and in this video now we want to start building up uh, our example arrays to compare to, right? So with image recognition for example, you need examples, right, to compare the image to to decide whether or not uh, it's match. So <clears throat> in our case we have in this numbers uh, file here, we have all these numbers and we've got 0 0.1 all the way to 0 0.9, 1.1 to 1.9 and so on. And so they're just kind of different versions of that number. So let's bring up a 9 here. So that's a 9, that's a 9, that's a 9. Nine's coming at you guys. Anyway, you get the point. Different versions of how uh, an OCR would read the number 9. Um, so that's that. And what we want to do is read these in to just arrays, right? So you, instead of like viewing the image and then converting it to an array and all that, a lot of times you might, you're, you're going to have pretty much like a database of images that you want to compare to. So you wouldn't want to read them in every single time. So you kind of want to create that database once and uh, not repeat through it every time. So the next thing that we want to do is begin building that. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I guess what we'll do, we'll comment this out all the way to here. So we're not going to use that in this one. And what we want to do is make a function to create the arrays out of these examples and save them so we can kind of reference them later. So scroll up to the top and make some space here. In the function, we're going to say uh, define, and we're just going to call this create examples. And what we're going to do is we're going to say number array examples, so like the arrays of these, these number images, equal open. And we're going to open up uh, numrx.txt. And then we're going to uh, open that with the intention to A for append. Now, this file doesn't already exist. That is OK. It will create it uh, when we run the script, so no worries. And then we're going to say numbers we have. And this is how many examples of each number do we have. And it also just so happens that it's going to match the exact numbers themselves. So uh, it's going to serve two purposes, and so what we're going to use is range 1 uh, to 10. And what this means basically is how many decimal points, right? We've got point 0.1 to point 0.9, and then also, actually I thought it was going to serve two purposes, but we actually have some zeros here, so that won't serve that purpose. So actually, numbers we have, um, and then we're also going to need... Um, really numbers we have should be range uh, 0 and then versions we have will be equal to a range of 1 to 10. So this will create 0 through 9 and this will create 1 through 9. Like it makes an array basically. So now what we're going to do is for each num in numbers we have, so for everything from 0 to 9, then we want to do for each version in versions we have. So it's going to run through 0 through 9, and for each 0 through 9, it will also run through each uh, 1 through 9. So, we're going to say, let's just print it out. We'll do print string each num, and then we'll do plus, because what we want to basically make is the file names, <laughs> okay? So, each num plus a period plus another string of further num. So let's just print those out and see if we get what we want, right? We want basically 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, all the way to 0 0.9, and then 1.1, right? We don't want 1.0, otherwise we would use range. So run that, and since we didn't already call that function, let's create examples. And further num is not defined. Let's see here, what did we do wrong? Oh, okay. Plus string uh, each version. 
whatever inversions we have. Okay, save that and run that. And there we go. Uh, we've got now we have uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, all the way to 0 0.9, and then 1.1, 1 1.2, 1 1.3, uh, and all the way through. So now we have those the numbers, like the digits that we want, and so now let's actually use those to open up a file. So we're going to say down here, uh, image file path equals, and what that's going to equal is images slash numbers, right? Then we're going to do plus the string version of uh, each num, and then plus, well, basically all of this. So let's just highlight, copy, paste, and then we don't need to print this out every time, so we'll comment that out. And now, um, actually, we need a dot plus uh, dot PNG. So, like, that'll be the image file path, right? Now, what we want to do is we're going to say EI for example image equals capital I M A G E dot open. And then we want to use image file path. So that corresponds to what we just made, right? And then example image array equals mp dot array and then ei. And then um, what we want to do is convert this to a list so we can save it uh, nice and pretty to a text file. So the way that we do that is um, eir oops, eir one eiar one rather equals string and then e i a r dot to list and then um, then what we're going to say is the way we're going to save this to a file is we not only want the image array but we want to know like what number that corresponds to or like what that corresponds to so like if you were doing faces this array in these five, let's say you've got 10 pictures of the same person so you, each image array would correspond. Let's say that's that's person number five hundred, right? So you would you would want to correspond those image arrays to something, right? Otherwise, when you find a match, it's worthless, right? So anyway, um, so we're going to say line to right. So how do we actually want to save this stuff? And it's going to be equal to string. Um, let's see, numbers we have each known zero through nine. Since we have literally 0 through 9 so first we want to save each num and then we're gonna have so like let's say it's finding its examples of one it'll be a one plus we're just gonna use a double colon just to make it easier on our eyes to see it in the file that's what we're gonna separate it by plus eir1 and then we'll do a plus um, a new uh, backslash n make sure it's a backslash not a forward slash n and that makes a new line in the file then what we're going to do is um, we're just going to say number array examples. So this right here that corresponds to this open the file. And then we're going to do dot write. And what do we want to write? Line to write. And that's it. So as long as we didn't uh, code in any errors here, that should create a sample file in your uh, directory wherever your script is when we run this anyways and I'll show you what I mean by that in a second so we'll save that run it and I don't think we called create examples so I think we have to call it yeah so we'll call create examples create examples and it says okay so our somewhere in our directory or in our directory path. right okay so in the image file path you have to make a another slash there Okay, so that should solve the problem. So save that, run it again. I'll uh, bring this over and see if we got any more errors. Mm, didn't say any more errors. So let's go ahead and bring up that uh, file. So you should go into the directory of uh, this script and you should have this uh, file numrex. And if you don't have Notepad++, you can open it up in a regular Notepad and it'll look like this. Uh, and if you just kind of like stretch it out really, really far, you might be able to get it working. Or you can go format and make sure uh, word wrap is off, so like that. 
and it still looks kind of crummy for me anyway. Anyway, I'm not going to view it now. We're going to open it up in Notepad. <laughs> and so anyway, you can see uh, Notepad++, rather. You can see here, so this is a zero, and this is the array that corresponds to that zero. Anyway, you can see that we've got zero, we've got some ones, some twos, some threes, fours, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So this is our example file that we'll uh, be referencing a little bit here when we compare an image that we've made and we'll compare it to all of these and see which one it matches most closely and then make a decision on, okay, what number is this based on the array? So anyway, um, that's going to conclude this video. As always, thanks for watching.